Khan and Richard Roper live at the Democratic National Convention, DNC 2012 in Charlotte. But the big story is back in Chicago, uh, in Joliet, where a jury has convicted Drew Peterson of murder, the murder of Kathleen Savio. Judge Janine Pirro is on the Super Celebrity Hotline, oh, uh, and Judge Pirro has been following this case for the Fox News Channel, of course. And it seems, uh, Judge, I know that you know we all are in agreement that Drew Peterson is a creepy guy, and, and I, I certainly believe that the jury found the did the right thing here, but I didn't sit in the courtroom and listen to the evidence. What was your reaction? Well, you know, I honestly thought that the jury would come back today, Thursday, and uh, everything seemed a little out of whack when they came back with that question around uh, lunchtime, which was, you know, what does unanimous mean? Okay. That kind of signal to all of us who were veterans in the courtroom that somebody was holding out. And uh, thank you. Um, so it, it, it was comforting to see that they had a verdict. Uh, either way, they made it the decision to all, you know, agree. But at the end of the day, I think that this jury, uh, for as much of their dressing alike and making all of these nonverbal signals, uh, they were not interested in um, um, talking to the press. They had a very simple statement thanking people. And I think that, uh, you know, they listened hard and they, you know, they had a few laughs together, but they made the right decision about this case. I think at the end of the day that what we have is a, a verdict that reflects justice and the verdict that is, uh, I think, finally going to allow Kathleen to rest in peace. Well, Judge, you may be the last woman on earth that Drew Peterson ever winked at. And I well, think you know... It's interesting, guys, because right before the jury walked in, we all knew there was a verdict. He looked at me. I was in the second row. I looked at him, and uh, he looked scared because, look, he's a cop. He knew the jury coming back within 24 hours is more probable than not uh, that it is a guilty if it's a verdict. So if it's real soon, it's a not guilty. But as far as I'm concerned, I think this jury was a very smart jury. They listened, uh, and they understood what was going on in spite of the fact that at times the uh, the case was presented in a very choppy fashion because the judge, you know, didn't allow all the evidence in that Judge White had previously uh, allowed in. But all in all, they got the picture, they got the story, and it is the right verdict so that when a woman is in fear of a man, I mean, hopefully women will understand that they can come forward now, that there will be justice, and, and, and hopefully they won't have to go the route that Kathleen Savio went. What do you think about the behavior of the defense attorneys in this case, though? I know attorneys are loath to criticize other attorneys, but I'm going to ask you to do it anyway. Do you think that uh, their theatrics and their overconfidence and their, at times, over-exuberance and fe the festive nature of the, the, their trappings uh, was in stark contrast to the, to the brutal reality of what the crime accused is. Well, you know, I, I think that everybody kind of looked askance when, you know, they were laughing and joking and the sunglasses and, you know, dressing alike and, and that kind of thing, the husband and wife anyway. But, um, you know, it was very different from the way people behaved in my courtroom when I was a judge, especially in a somber situation like a murder trial. Um, I, I, I think that they were smart. Uh, they made every objection uh, known to lawyers in a courtroom. Uh, they were savvy, but I think at the end of the day, they understood that, you know, this was a tough case, and so they threw everything in the mix that they could. Uh, but I, I, I got to tell you, I have respect for their intelligence. I don't agree with their philosophy or the way they behave, but, you know, that was their call, not mine. These were very, very smart guys. All right, so and as the, the woman attorney as well. Right. Now, yeah. did you get a chance to look at Drew Peterson as the verdict was being read? Yeah. Yes. Uh, his face was flushed. Uh, he looked straight ahead. His hands were on the desk in front of him. Uh, it was a it was a very intense uh, face. It was one that I hadn't seen during the trial. And, you know, we made a lot of eye contact during the trial. You know, he was joking. He thought it was fun. Uh, you know, winking, holding his heart. And then, you know, after a show, he'd come in. And uh, after my show, like on a Tuesday, you know, he'd smile and wink again. Uh, I think that the look that uh, 
we saw today in the courtroom was probably the kind of look that Kathleen Fabio saw. Uh, it was a different Drew Peterson. Wow, that's an excellent observation. All right. Uh, Judge Janine Pirro, of course, you can see her on the weekends on the Fox News Channel. Uh, and uh, thank you so much for all of your help during this trial. Really all right. And on this Saturday night at 8 o'clock on, on Fox News, I'm going to have most of the players, and we're going to move on now to the Stacey Peterson case, and we're going to talk about what it's going to take to indict Drew Peterson for the murder of Stacey Peterson. And don't forget, Judge Janine has a hot new novel out, Sly Fox, with a very hot scene in it that, uh, that uh, I've thought about quite a bit. All right, thank, thank you very you, much, Rose. Judge. Take care. Bye-bye.